Hey guys, this is Ginger. Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would go over varnishing and uh, different types of finish for your acrylic. Uh, specifically matte, uh, a matte type varnish or finish. Uh, basically that's what I was trying to get on this finished piece I have here so I don't know if you can the camera is picking it up but there is uh, basically no to very little shine <laughs> on this piece which is the look I was going for uh, and in order to get that I used um, this Liquitex uh, Soluvar matte varnish and um, I like this a lot because it's a spray, super easy to apply. I'll put up a little uh, short clip here of me applying it. Basically, you just spray it on in light, even coats. Um, I do like the fact that uh, with the sprays, that it puts on a very even finish, but um, you know, and you don't get the brush strokes, which I really appreciate. So, uh, the wind kind of got me a little bit today. You'll see as I go to start spraying it that the, you know, wind is taking it off a little. So it might be better to do that, uh, in the garage if you can, but you do need to have, um, an open work environment. You don't want to be doing this inside the house. Um, and I just wanted to, uh, make note of something on here because I did not know this until I started reading this T90 writing, which I'm sure you guys can't see. I can't hardly see it. But um, this is a temporary or let's removable finish. See, so it tells you up here that you've got, this is uh, not for prep, it's for a finish. Uh, it has the dot here's permanent and removable and it's way over here on removable uh, And then of course matte and transparent, but what it says is that, you know, obviously your painting should be dry um, Use as a final layer, but it they tell you to use a coat of uh, Of course their brand Liquitex gloss medium and varnish uh, for a permanent isolating varnish so uh, you can use this over the top as a final finish but it is it is removable um, not with water so you can wipe it with a, a damp cloth if you need to but um, if you were to use um, a uh, odorless mineral spirits or something like that it would remove uh, this varnish so in the meantime, you have to put a base coat underneath it, which I have here the satin varnish, but um, sometimes you don't want a satin finish. So if you're looking for a matte finish, then you'll have to go over it with uh, something like this. But I much prefer this uh, spray over the liquid for uh, getting a good finish. Like you can see here, hopefully there's no no brush strokes. So, and it's not super like chalky, dry, like a um, sheet of uh, plaster or anything. But uh, anyway, it's got a good finish. I really like this stuff. Um, hopefully, this was a little helpful if you're trying to figure out what you want to coat your work in. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.